next guest from shows like Dallas and The Arrangement. He is now starring in his first Hallmark Movies and Mysteries original, Time for Me to Come Home for Christmas, which premieres this Sunday. Please welcome back the amazing, my buddy, Josh Henderson. Welcome back, man. Good, good to see you, dude. Good to see you. Always great to see you. Always great to see you. Great to be here. Uh, and I'm always excited to sit down and talk to you. I'm especially excited about this. A lot of people don't realize this film is actually produced by none other than Blake Shelton. That's right. That's awesome. Based yeah. on his song, Indirectly, right? Uh, right? Time for me to come home. Tell us about the film. So, uh, it, it's actually a lot of fun. I mean, uh, Blake's producing this. It's, it's essentially based on a, uh, a book that his mother wrote. Um, <clears throat> there, was a, there was a time where his father had passed and, and he, he, was, he had kind of hit it big and, and he, was, he was doing really well in his career. And um, uh, he, hadn't, he hadn't gone home for Christmas in a mm. while. He, he, he just, I think that it was, um, he, he didn't know how it would feel going home without, without right. dad being mm. around. So his mother wrote this book, and uh, and he decided to go ahead and make it into a movie. And they called me and asked if uh, if I'd like to kind of play this Blake Shelton character that was kind of yep. based off him in yep. a song nice. that he wrote. And I said, absolutely. So here we are. That's and here you fit. are. And you're co-starring with Megan Park. Yes, she was great. She was yeah. really, really good. Uh, uh, she and I had never met her before. Um, but... Uh, what was cool about her was is that we went out to dinner with our producer the two two nights before we started shooting, and uh, we met then. And I was like, "Hey, you're you're actually pretty awesome. I think this is gonna work out." <laughs> this uh, is so, which is a good thing, yeah, exactly. Because otherwise, you, never you know. have to do the movie anyway. And you never know. Yeah. So it can be tricky, yeah, sure. The chemistry was there. Good. Uh, it, it really it, so it, it was it was easy for us to shoot this movie. It's and, super um, cute. It was it was a lot of fun. It's a really really great premise. So we have a clip of the movie where you and Megan's character are just getting to know each other. Yes. At the airport because. You just let's preface this a little bit. You guys are both going home. Mm -hmm. She just lost someone in her family as That's well. That's correct. Yes, and her, her mother had passed, so we're kind of on the same path, kind of uh, uh, both emotionally and family-wise, and trying to get home for Christmas. And then you're stuck. We you're are stuck in the airport. Yeah. So what else can you do except for fall in love? Maybe take a look. <laughs> what? I just feel like I, I've met you before. I know you or something. Do we know each other? Uh, I don't think so. Are you in a band? Uh, yeah, yeah, sort of. What kind of music? Is it rock music? Or? Uh, country. <laughs> what? You don't like country? I mean, it's not my favorite. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite music? Ah, uh, I guess I'm kind of like a show tunes girl. Show tunes? Ah, yeah. uh, okay. <laughs> you, uh, you headed home for Christmas? Yeah. Yeah, Oklahoma. Well, me too. No way. Yeah, born and raised. Did you ever ride the dry gulch train at Christmas? Only every Christmas since I was five. Really? Yeah, I grew up in Coweta. I'm from Rocky Point. What? Yeah, did you go to Wagon Ridge? Uh, Broken Eagle. Oh, we competed in choir. Yeah, you guys are great. State champions. <laughs> that must be it. Must be what? How I know you. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Oh. I love this movie, and that is one of my favorite scenes in the movie. I love the fact she has no clue. That's right. What a big star you are. She legitimately doesn't know who you are. That's right. Yeah, uh, and you know, in the, in the film, his name is Heath Sawyer, and he's a huge, massive country star. Uh, and so he's kind of walking through the airport, very kind of, you know, I just want to get to my <laughs> gate. I don't want to, you know, I just don't want to cause a ruckus. Um, you like that word, ruckus? Ruckus. Yeah, I like I, it. I don't know yeah. where I pulled that one from. What anyway, goes with the movie? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, you know, she doesn't recognize him, so I think he finds it endearing. He's not used to that. Um, and it's odd because in the show that, uh, that I did before this, I played the biggest movie star in the world. And so right. there were so many similar scenes to where Kyle West was, you know, he was literally always in incognito. And sure right. enough, one of the first days we're shooting in this movie, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm doing this again. That's right. right. But Heat Sawyer's like Kyle West at the but country music. You know what? That happens, I bet you, to, to you and you. In well, that leave me out recognize of, you. I mean, are What's you wearing odd? the big cowboy hat going through the airport trying to hide <laughs> from people, should. too? Like, I mean, is that, <laughs> is that, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I, I should actually. No, I. You know what's funny is, is in LA. I think, as you guys probably know, it's <clears throat> it's not that big of a deal. People see people from television yeah, films yeah, all, the time. all the time. But I, honestly, whether I'm flying to Nashville or, or Texas or Oklahoma, as soon as I land. It's like, it's weird. It's like yeah. I'm wearing a t-shirt that says I'm on television. Or right. Because, because people always at airports always recognize me. Well, we said that because in airports, I mean, you have to think about all the people that are coming through airports. They all watch TV. That's right. So yeah. at some point, you're going to get recognized. You're bound to get recognized, yeah. uh, for sure. Well, like your character in the movie, you are also a very talented singer. In fact, you recorded Blake Shelton's song that this movie was based on. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I remember listening to the song before, and he's, you know, he's a little... More country twangy than I am, okay. not in a bad way. I mean, he's I was, yeah, I mean, on Blake Shelton, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but you know, I wanted to make sure that I did his song justice, and and uh, uh, we went in on a Saturday uh, in between days of shooting, and 
and it took about an hour, and we, we, we got it done. It was, it was great. And you're friends with Blake, right? Well, yeah, I, uh, I introduced Blake at the CMT Awards uh, last summer, and then, uh, yeah, that's me, singing. There you uh, go, man. <laughs> this is cool. Um, but yeah, I, I introduced him at CMT Awards uh, last year, and then, uh, uh, funny enough, two hours later, we were, all, we were, we were, I was at this very, very packed bar. It was a crazy week in Nashville, yeah. CMA Fest and CMT Awards, and uh, all of these people were next to me, kind of taking phones out. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll just. <laughs> That's the best. Uh, That's the best. That's the best. <laughs> Blake Shelton standing next to me. It's the most humbling thing in the world. Yeah. You're like, well, I am a big deal. And yeah. you're like, no, I was gonna I'm just kind of give a wave, and then I was like. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Oh, Blake. I love it. They're Blake. Like, why what's is up, that buddy? guy trying to ruin our picture? Yeah, well, he, he's like getting in the middle and of the picture. He really is like this when you look at him. He's like 6'6. Six, six. Yeah, he's, he's a, a big, big man. Guy. He's yeah. a big man for sure. Well, you got a lot of parallels uh, with Blake. The fact that people want your picture. Yeah. That's one of them. Uh, <laughs> another one is that you're also from Oklahoma. Yep. So, you know, I got to ask, are you going home for Christmas? I am. You know, it's crazy. It, and this, this is an odd, it's an odd kind of art imitating life thing because I haven't been home. To Oklahoma oh in probably eight years. What? So, so yeah. So I'm I'm excited to go back and just see family and, and see friends that I haven't seen in a long oh, time. That's amazing. And, you know, uh, they they live in Oklahoma, so they have kids that are like almost my age now. You know. And so it's gonna be good to kind of catch up with friends. <laughs> yeah, and, and, no, it is. It's so. always so great to do that. It really is. I know someone that you always see around the holidays and Christmas is your mom. But yeah. the holidays was it just wasn't simply enough for you. So you said, you know what, mom. Pack it up, you're moving to Beverly. That's the best. Hills, that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 you moved yeah. your mom out here, that's I, awesome. You know, I just, uh, you know, I, I, I thought that she would enjoy being closer because at the time my little sister Hannah uh, also uh, uh, was living here. So I wanted all, us all to kind of be closer and, uh, and so I moved her out and found her a place, and you know she she also is in love with my that's all my little sister. Look at that. Which family. one's the sister and which uh, one's the mom? Hannah's on the left. That's the one that moved back to Oklahoma. Now my mom's in the, in the middle, and then oh that's God. me, and then it's my baby sister Chelsea, who's at the university. I mean, and tell your mom that we weren't sure which one she was. Like in other words, she. Uh, it's, <laughs> we looked at the that's photo. That's a good thing for her. That's a good thing for her. She's gonna love that. She could come yeah. visit us whenever. She, I love that you love your mom so thank much. You, it's thank you. It's really so endearing. You were saying that. That's a good sign. It's a really good sign when a when a man loves his mother. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, great to see you. Dude. Oh, so good Congrats to see you. Thank everything. you for having Keep me. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. Bring your mom. You got it. Wheel. You got it. You can see Thank Josh you, in the premiere of Time for Me to Come Home for Christmas this Sunday, December 9th at 9, 8 central on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries.